and I'm unpacking again. This delivery from leatherartisanlab.com includes my new wing dividers. What you can do with it and why this special one is better than all the others, I'll show you in this video. My good old divider is getting on in years. Well actually, it was never what I hoped it would be. Admittedly, it was a bargain when I bought it. The tips don't lie on top of each other anymore and worst of all, it doesn't keep its set distance. The screw is probably loose. So I had to get a new one, preferably one I could rely on. And it turned out to be this one. Um, it turned out to be these two ones. I couldn't help myself and took two. A small one for my watch straps, which are often very fiddly, and one for the rough stuff. The big one is black, by the way. It's not a lacquer. It's a finish called stonewashed. Don't worry, it won't come off. On the leatherartisanlab.com website, where I ordered these beauties, you can choose between the silver and the black version. As always, fast delivery, great products and a great support. Questions are answered immediately. What more could you ask for? By the way, you can find the links to the dividers shown here in the info text below the video. Or you just look at the website. There are a lot of nice things there. Hmm, what do we need a wing divider for anyway? If you only use them at school, don't worry. This is not about math. At least you don't have to do any calculations. No workbench should be without a wing divider. Another essential tool. Apart from transferring distances to another workpiece, the most common use is probably to mark out lines. You use the edge of the leather as a guide and draw a line perfectly parallel to the edge of the leather. And not just for straight edges. You can use these lines as a line for the seam for example. But there are a few other things you can do with this wing divider. Drawing circles. Logical. Drawing arcs is one of the core functions of a compass. Let me show you how you can use it perfectly for belts and the like. Set the wing divider to the width of your belt. Now place it on one side, as shown. Draw a line. And repeat on the opposite side. Voila! The perfect so-called English point. Once you know how to do this, you don't need any templates. You can also find the center of a belt. Simply measure by eye to about half the width of a belt. Now draw two lines. The actual center line is now logically in between. Now you can adjust a little and mark it again if you like. I have found that wing dividers are perfect for working on belts. Of course you can also use it to mark your hole spacing at the perfect distance. Just keep moving with the compass. The wing divider takes its name from this wing-like arch. But there are also other types of dividers. There are these called spring dividers. These have a circular spring at the top that pushes the arms together. You can then use the screw spindle to set the distance you want to. I had one, but was not happy with it. Somehow I always manage to reset the distances by mistake. There are also dividers without a clamping and setting mechanism. With these, the tight rivet hinge alone ensures that the set values do not change. So, lots of choices. 
Why did I choose these two? Firstly, they are beautifully made. They feel really solid and valuable. The set screws hold the settings accurately and reliably. The size of the two should cover pretty much everything I will ever need for my work. But for me, the best argument for them are the tips. They are so narrow that you can use a steel ruler to set the desired dimensions. The tip then virtually snap into the milled millimeter lines. Although they can be used for precise marking, they also have another advantage due to their curved shape. And this design makes it not just a marking divider, but a perfect adjustable super fine creaser. And that's ingenious. For those of you who don't know what a creaser is, a creaser is a tool to make decorative lines in leather. There are many creasers out there, from the very very cheap one to the expensive electric creasers. The most common are probably these handheld models, which don't just draw a line, they are shaped to basically give the leather edge a new, perfectly rounded shape. Our wing divider can't do that, of course. But let's be honest, compared to an electric crease, the result here has nothing to hide. Slim and elegant. Ideal for small, delicate projects. But please don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's a complete replacement. Nor can it be. Especially as it loses heat very quickly due to its lack of mass. But the fact that you can use this function in addition to the circular functions is great. As you can see, the tip has its advantages. But a word of caution. Do not hold this thin fine tip in the flame of a burner. It could easily burn out. Alcohol lamps are ideal. These should keep everything within the temperature range. If you're looking for one, there is a link in the video description. So, to sum up. Well made, precise, perfect sizes and the fact that you can use it as a creaser. For me, there was only one winner. So much for one of the most important tools for us leather craftsmen, the wing divider. If you're looking for information about other tools, you might find them on this channel, which you can support for free by liking the video, subscribing to the channel and writing comments. I would be delighted. You can also find more information on my website. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you soon.